What, what is that? So, so in any combination, <sighs> monosexual, monogamous, and vaginally orgasmic. This has got to, this is, what's that like? My sister is all those things. Mm-hmm. And, and she likes sex just fine. But it's like, mm-hmm. but I, and yeah. she'll, Will, she and I are talking, we'll go, we related? She read my book. It's like, my sister knows this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Cause she's never, you know, she's a serial monogamist. Yeah. Right. Cause she's someone when she's in love, she doesn't want, and, and K- K- Ginger, when she's in love, she doesn't want anybody else. Mm-hmm. Candy Dorel, when she was in love, she only wanted one man. It's like, wow, does that work? Yeah. I don't know. Now, there are people who, when they're in love, they may want other people, but they realize that my agreement is monogamy mm-hmm. and I'm not going to be a, a deal breaker. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be that person. Right. So there's 20% of people who are naturally monogamous. It's never, it's not a ball and chain. It's it's fabulous. They love it. It's great. It's fully satisfying. Mm-hmm. And then 20% of people like Ernest and me, fully mm-hmm. non-monogamous, but also deeply bonded as a partner, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then 60% of people are struggling with where, how do I best manifest my sexual expression mm-hmm. in a way that doesn't hurt anybody, fits my value. Mm-hmm. And then we can't all get everything we want. Mm-hmm. And that's just mating. That's just, you know, once you partner with someone, you do start other other doors start closing. Mm-hmm. And how you feel about those doors closing means a lot. Is it mm-hmm. okay that they're closing or if you're, are you frantic that they're closing? Right. If you're frantic that they're closing, maybe you're not with the right partner. Mm-hmm. Um, because when you start growing together, start really braiding your lives together, mm-hmm. things get pruned. Yeah. And, and, you, and, and things, so back, you know, 10 years ago, things I really, really wanted. It's like, I, I, if they came around now, I probably could easily say no. Yeah, and so how badly do I want to think badly because I want it, or am I manifesting other distress and it's and it's manifesting like this desire? Mm-hmm. So what's what also, so I want X. What's underneath the want? Is it something mm-hmm. that can be satisfied elsewhere without you breaking your bound your your vows? Right, right. You right. know, um, and some things, and we don't get everything. We don't get everything we want. Yeah. Well, relationships are about compromise, right? But what you compromise on that that's difference. important because so, you got to recognize what what you can and what you can't. Being uh, my Fingers touching my nose and pointing at her. Yes, exactly. So for me, I was never going to compromise again on on jealousy and possessiveness. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope. That's a hundred percent. Nope, nope. I don't care how good you are, rich you are, how beautiful your cock is. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, yeah. So Ernest and I, we are fully on board on the important things, and the other things are up for negotiation. Mm-hmm. And certain things I don't want anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm fifty nine. I'm not thirty five anymore. Mm-hmm. It is. It just you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but when it comes to sex, for me. Every time I get to touch genitals, it's like, really? For me? <laughs> because my job as a nurse and as a conduit and as a facilitator of sexual health is to help each person into their body as deeply as they can go at mm-hmm. any one time. And if even being touched nicely once mm-hmm. lets you know there are people out there, you can be touched nicely. You don't mm-hmm. have to take this touch, which mm-hmm. is clumsy or bad or mean or not satisfying mm-hmm. there you know here's but here's what it can be like when someone is paying attention to your body in a respectful manner mm-hmm. with your pleasure in mind mm-hmm. and also with most people it's it's one way I, I don't i'm pretty much a stone top i do not need you don't need to do anything back to me sweetheart it's fine <clears throat> i mm-hmm. much i much because <clears throat> on camera if you're doing something to me it's gonna be at least half acting mm. because i'm just really i can just I have to act because for me, if I'm laying there still, you're doing something to me. And at home, I'm, it's not fun to look at. I'm very quiet. Mm-hmm. I'm totally happy. You're working my vulva and my mind. And with just, and it's not theatrical. You know, I totally agree. When I'm, yeah, when I'm like being eaten out or something like that, like right before I come, I go totally, totally. silent and very quiet. Mm-hmm. And it's very, very boring. You're super focusing. Yes, you're, you're just absolutely. like, yeah. Ping. So, yeah. so you're, you're going to this mode of singularity. So yes. it's like, and it's not theatrical. Right. Right. Yeah. Correct. Oh. Correct. So um, I don't go to work to have an orgasm. Mm-hmm. I go to work to give a good show, mm-hmm. to showcase um, good behavior, to showcase proper vulva, proper cunnilingus, cunnilingus, cunnilingus. techniques, or <laughs> proper hand sex techniques. So mm-hmm. I'm here. I'm here. I'm basically, a, I tell people I'm a Trojan. I've been a fifth columnist for 35 years. I'm a Trojan horse for queer culture. So I've been, I've been I look so femme and normal. That straight men will pay attention to me, but mm-hmm. when I'm with women, I'm like a lesbian. Mm-hmm. And so if you are tuning into me as a male viewer, mm-hmm. watching me do her, you're going to pick up little things. Mm-hmm. Even if you didn't watch my teaching tapes, which mm-hmm. I'm very proud of, but you just watch me re- do regular porn, mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of information there if you can get past the big hair. And if you look in the 80s movies, there were four women that had short nails. Myself, Erica Boyer, Sharon Kane, 
and Sherry Mitchell, the four queer ladies. I was going to say, is that how you knew like the girls that were actually into girls? Absolutely. Yeah, because so, when I have girls show up for girl girl scenes and they come up with these daggers, I'm like, you are clearly not into chicks. You're the you're the pillow princess yeah. on your yeah, back. Lady. You are not. You're not really yeah, yeah. into girls. Not really. Thank you. Yeah. So and so I get now lesbians in their forties and fifties who will come up to me and say thank you so much because in the eighties when I was looking around because there's, there's no. Pink and White Productions and Shine Louise Houston <clears throat> hadn't <clears throat> hadn't been invented yet, mm-hmm. right? And so in the eighties was all men men porn. So lesbians who were trying to find out what they were at, they had to they had to look through all the porn to find Sharon Kane, Nina Hartley, Erica Boyer, and Sherry Mitchell, who were clearly the 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 lesbo babes, um, right? Who all had short nails. Everyone else, and honestly, if you have long nails, on your back. <laughs> and, and, and I like Pillar Princess. I, I'm, I, I love Pillar Princesses. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, sweetheart, you don't have to do anything back to me. I'm just having so much fun here, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's okay. And then, of course, with the Hitachi Magic Wand, I, you can get them close. And then in the end, I'll manage to hold and you manage to clit and then we'll all be happy. <laughs> and so this is why I want men not to be afraid of vibrators. Mm. It's like when in doubt, hand the girl a vibrator, cuddle her up in your lap and, mm-hmm. and stroke her hair while she buzzes. I mean, it just, porn is... Porn is live action cartoons. Right. Porn is not meant to be sex education. Right. And the biggest lie about porn is that women come that easily. Mm hmm. Even if you are kisses sins. Um, <laughs> and also, with the, but the big damage that does to straight men is that all, the, all her pleasure and all his pleasure can only come from his penis. Hmm. Not the rest of his body. Now he doesn't. He didn't, they don't use their hands very well. They're not taught how to mm-hmm. use their hands well. They don't use their mouths. There's so many other ways to please a partner than mm-hmm. your penis, which puts a lot of pressure on a very delicate part. Which so you and I, you know, vulvas are also emotionally attached, but mm-hmm. we can go dry or wet, and no one can tell. A mm-hmm. little bit of lube, and we're good. Right. Men's emotional state are there for everyone to see. Yes. And it's really, really, really. Exposing, mm-hmm. which, is, which is why um, it's hard to find men in the business who are fun to work with, mm-hmm. who are just comfortable enough their erection so they can forget about them for a minute and actually play with you. Because in real mm-hmm. life, sex is about play. Right. You and I are having a good time. We have no time. Stay, just whenever it happens. In a movie, it's much more structured. Okay, we have an hour. Yeah, exactly. We need four positions and a pop. Yep. Yep. Moving on, you know. Yeah. So it's just so within that structure, then how can I find playfulness? Nathan Bronson's a lot of fun. Evan Stone is a hoot. <laughs> he's a hoot. Um, uh, Jay uh, Crew is awesome. He's, mm-hmm. a, he's an older gentleman who's just a lot of fun, who likes women. Mm-hmm. It's very hard to find men in porn, and Shawn Michaels, of course. Hard to find men in porn who like women. Mm. Most men, they fuck women, mm-hmm. but they don't always like them. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. And a lot of the men um, off camera, they don't maintain, they don't have female friends, they don't hang out with women. Mm-hmm. They fuck them at work, mm-hmm. but they don't, seek them out as friends or lovers off camera. Mm-hmm. And those are the men who I have difficulty with because mm-hmm. they're, they're just... And you go on my no list. If, and you go on my no list if you got too big of a dick. It's like, you know. Yeah. I just work... I worked with Logan Long recently and he's a lovely, lovely guy with mm-hmm. a beautiful penis. Mm-hmm. Too big for me. Yeah. I, I tried like four different positions. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, see, I love that you say that because it dispels the myth that, you know, every guy thinks that like you have to have a huge cock to please women and that's just not true. No, no, no. I actually don't. I agree with you. I don't like large penises either. They they're hurt. beautiful to look at. If they're at. really big, they hurt. No, if they're really big, they're very photogenic. Yes. And I love to do a hand up blowjob. Right? Yeah. Just a well, cock worship and just yeah. really did all the glow. Yeah, that's that. fun. Um, but I'm here, Nina's holding up two fingers. So this is, my two fingers are three inches long. Mm-hmm half an inch thick and about an inch wide. So mm-hmm. if I can get a girl off of that in my mouth, no penis is, quote unquote, too small. Right. It's about what, do you know what you're doing with it and to know where you're going with it? Right. Because the vagina is not just a spot that you stick it in. Mm-hmm. I was listening to um, Hannah, Hannah, Gad, Hannah Gadsden, Gadley, a comic, mm. um, and she was an art history lesbian uh, comic from Tasmania. Brilliant. Uh, her show, by the way. Art history lesbian comic from Tasmania. Yeah. That's quite a title. She's, it's, it's amazing. So <laughs> her, her, her Netflix show is called Nanette. Okay. Brilliant. Absolutely the best. Wow. Like, wow. Mm-hmm. So good. So good. But she called, um, for her, looking at classical art, uh, she had a very big, funny bit about it, but she calls them flesh vases for your dick flowers. <laughs> Which is how, 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 how women were portrayed in, in Western art for so many years. Oh my years. God, that's so great. Yeah. <laughs> she was saying it not in a super nice way, because, yeah. but I... No, say, I can see oh, that it's not like I, a I, I, I get it. I get a flesh yeah. vase for your dick flower. Yeah. But if someone... And this is... A, so are you bi... You're certainly, if you're not bi, you're certainly bi-comfortable. 
because mm-hmm. you're with you're with a lot of you know bi girls. But growing up, the the a lot of the feminists they hated all the advertising, hated all the using sex for advertising. But when I see half naked women, I get happy and relaxed. Mm. So I never saw that as 